One of the things that we found during our inspection phase was that there was termites on the property in the house. So we have termite and pest control out this morning doing their remediation services. Um, they actually have a kind of a busy morning today. We're also expecting pods, our pods from Portland, Oregon to arrive, um, which we're pretty excited about. So that'll be coming soon. And I'm hoping to get a couple other little things accomplished today, but right now the pest control is happening and then here soon pods is gonna arrive. So actually, do you mind explaining what you're doing? Yeah, you, um, so what this is doing here is it's called rodding it and uh, use this big rod to get down to the footer and it sprays four different ways and it just gets a good, a good solid barrier around the footer for termites. It's labeled for termites, but it kill it can treat any kind of crawling bug that you've got. But, oh nice. Yeah so we've got subterranean termites here so they've got to go back into the ground every 72 hours to get moisture. So you just treat the soil and the foundation around the house and once they go through it they end, uh, they get infected they take it back to their the colony they clean each other they feed each other. So you can you can infect one termite and he can take out probably a good, probably 25% of the colony just by them rubbing up against each other, cleaning really? each other, feeding each other. Wow. How big can colonies get? Are they in the thousands? Oh, millions? Yeah. Th uh, definitely thousands, probably hundreds of thousands. Wow. So you're just injecting it right now and it's spreading out. Yeah, it's shooting all four different ways. And you have to do that in the entire perimeter of the house? Well, just where we can't drill. So underneath the house, oh. where we can spread, uh, drill in the block and uh, shoot the block, yeah. we won't have to. I see, okay. All right, so the uh, termite and pest control company, they're just finishing up. The work crew finished up about an hour ago, and now the owner of the company is doing a walkthrough making sure everything's okay and going to show me some things. So, uh, so far I've been super happy with this company and they do provide a guarantee, which is great. And in about 10 minutes, we got the pods arriving, which I'm super excited about and should be interesting to see them come up the driveway and put the pods right in front of the carport, right over here. the real test after a year plus in storage do I have the right key and does it open yep. those of you watched the uh, pods packing video you know that we packed this thing like a sardine so we'll, if it shifted uh oh here we go moment of truth It's a sardine, I tell ya. And there's not really much you can do, right? If I can't open it. 
yes and no. Um, like what is there that you we can could do? try just us trying to open it. Uh huh. And then uh, if that don't work, yeah, take Podzilla back off of there, put it back over top of it, chain it up, and shake the hell out of it. Oh really? All right. Time for step number two: more manpower. now <laughs> have you ever seen anybody line the inside of the pod with two by fours no <laughs> no if you see here Not at all i noticed that yeah i got i lined the entire perimeter minus the ceiling and the floor with my wood that i didn't want to leave behind in portland because <laughs> i knew i was going to need it and not knowing that that lumber prices were going to go up like 20 times do, so this is like gold in here do the viewers know what it looks like without everything in it yeah oh okay yeah we i want to know what it looks like without everything in it yeah we did just a, the boards we did a pods video how to pack a pods in portland where we shoved this thing full <laughs> and this thing is full yeah it is. so it, it shows me doing all of that that work great work <laughs> great work pristine <laughs> yeah all right, cool. Well, thank you very much for your help. No it was awesome. Good job. No Navigating the, that driveway, not yeah. easy. Yeah. Not easy. That's what they pay us for, right? That's right. All right, we got our pods. Super excited about this. I'm way more excited about this than I thought I would be. Something about like familiar stuff coming to the homestead. Uh, we got like two weeks to get this thing unpacked before the next billing date. So. We got some work cut out for us. Anyway, we got our pods, super excited. We got it open, even more excited. Yeah. So yesterday I spent, actually most of the day, moving the trailer, moving our RV trailer into a better spot on the RV gravel pad. Uh, it's a little embarrassing to say this, but it took me six hours to move it four feet, four feet to the left. So, the reason it took me that long is because A, it's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, up and down, forward and backwards, left and right, trying to get into, into spot. With the big truck, like we have the long bed truck that doesn't have a very good uh, t or really tight turning radius, it's a lot of back and forth. But I also decided to take out a tree that's on the other side of the RV that was kind of hanging over and in heavy uh, winds, which we're getting quite a few lately. It blows around a lot and it's kind of scaring me. So I decided just to remove it while I had the trailer hooked to the truck. So I backed it all the way around the corner of the house, fell the tree, and then put it into its final resting location. So what's really nice is that it is not only in a good spot, but it's finally level. The last two weeks that we've been living here in the RV, and it's been in that temporary spot. It was leaning towards one side, which felt like we were walking on a sinking ship. <laughs> uh, plus we didn't have all the support brackets in to make it so it doesn't bounce around and it just wasn't as comfortable as we like it. So now it's level front to back and side to side. Things are much more stable and sturdy when we walk, it doesn't sway back and forth. So overall feeling really good about the placement of the RV. We got our stuff from pods, which is so awesome. I got seeds sown, ready to see them take off and, and start growing. Overall, it was a very good day. Uh, Kinsley and Floyd just kind of hung out with me and the chickens are doing okay. I think Zona, the one that I thought was sick, I think she's on the men's because she's a lot more active now. I see her joining the rest of the flock. She's not being a loner, so that vet rx stuff helped and or she wasn't sick and something else was going on but either way it's good to see her back with her flock and having a little bit more energy so that's going to wrap it up for today's vlog you're probably wondering why you're not seeing katie and that's because she had to go on a long work trip she's actually gone for the entire week and which is unfortunate but sometimes that happens 
So it's just me holding down the 60 acre homestead here with Kinsley and Floyd and the chickens. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. Bye, Kinsley.